today, we are going to read this book called Maggie and the Pirate. Let's go over all the parts of the book. The front, the back, the spine, the pages, the title, and the person who writes the word is the author, and the person who makes the pictures is the illustrator. And the author and the illustrator for this book is the same person. His name is Ezra Jack Keats. What do you think the story is about? Let's find out. Maggie and the Pirate by Ezra Jack Keats. <clears throat> Maggie and her parents lived in an old bus which they made into a home. Maggie was feeding Nikki, her pet cricket, when her mother called from across the river. Okay, this is her house. She lives in a bus that turned into a home. And that's her mother. This is Maggie and her pet, Nikki. Maggie, come over, please. I need something from the groceries. Okay, Ma, we'll be right there. Maggie paddled home. She hung Nikki's cage on the tree next to her home. Then she got her mother's shopping list and was off. Bye-bye, Nikki. Have a nice news, she called. So she's going to the grocery. And who's this boy? Let's see. On the way, she passed her friends. Hey, what a cage my pop built for Nikki, she yelled. Wow, are you lucky, called Paco. Can we see it? Sure, I'll pick you up on the way home, said Maggie. These are Maggie's friend, Katie and Puckle, and this is Maggie. Who's this boy? Let's see. On her way back, she picked up Paco and Katie. They helped her carry the groceries home. When they got to the tree, something was missing. The cage and Nikki were gone. Instead, there was a note. The pirate was here. P pirate son. Pirate? asked Katie. Yeah, who's the pirate? Paco asked. Maggie stared at the note in horror. That's the note. Maggie was looking at it. Who wrote the note? Paco and Katie tried and tried to set her mind off Nikki, but it was no use. See? I miss Nikki, Maggie sighed, and that pirate, he won't know how to feed him. Nikki might starve. Maggie's friends is trying to entertain her so that she not thinking about Nikki all the time, but does it work? I don't think so. She still miss Nikki. The cricket. Maggie began tacking up signs. There are signs. What's so special about a cricket anyway? asked Katie. I like him. That's what, answered Maggie. The sign says, Pirate, keep the cage, please. Please return cricket. Maggie wants, wants the cricket. She doesn't want anything to happen to the cricket. I'm going to find that pirate, shouted Maggie. We'll come too, said Paco, but how will we know what he looks like? What if he's bigger than us, whispered Katie. They started out. They started looking for the pirate. Look at that, the duck following them. They looked and looked, but they couldn't find the pirate anywhere. It was getting dark. Her friends got tired and struggled behind. Maggie stopped and listened. Crickets were chirping in the night. I must find Nikki before it's too late, she said. Okay, she was sad. She really wants to find Nikki the cricket, but she doesn't know where. Suddenly, she came upon a tree house she'd never seen before. It's a tree house, the ladder all the way up. 
She walked over softly, climbed up a very, very quietly and peeped in. It was the pirate's hideout. And there was the pirate holding Nikki's cage. Hey, I know you, and that's my cricket. Maggie dived into the tree home. She scuffled with the pirate, trying with all her strength to get Nikki. She went inside the tree house. Splash! The tree house came loose and crashed into the water. Oh no! Look, the cage. Nikki's cage. And that's Maggie and the pirate. Maggie sloshed around in the dark searching for Nikki. She saw something familiar floating by. It was the cage. She fished it out and opened it. There was Nikki, but he didn't move. Nikki's dead. He drowned, Maggie cried. She ran off with Nikki, leaving the cage behind. Oh no, she found Nikki the cricket. And it, the cricket is dead. She was very sad. Maggie, she heard her friends call. She saw Paco and Katie. They ran to her. We got lost, cried Paco. It's so dark. Wow, look at you. What happened? Did you find Nikki? Asked Katie. Maggie opened her hand and showed them. Poor Nikki, said Paco. Maggie told them everything that had happened. And the pirate is the new kid around here, she said. So he's the one, whispered Katie. They buried Nikki. Maggie wrote his name on the piece of wood and put it over the small grave. Paco picked some flowers and brought them over. Then they sang sad songs. Okay, that's the grave for Nikki the Cricket. And Maggie wrote his name. They brought flowers and they sang sad songs. Suddenly, the pirate appeared. <gasps> that's the pirate. What do you think he wants? Why did you do that? asked Maggie. We never did anything to you. Uh, it was the cage. I wanted it real bad, said the pirate. I didn't mean for the cricket to die. My old man, he never makes anything for me. He doesn't even talk to me. The pirate handed the cage to Maggie. She held it up. A beautiful sound came up. She looked in and there was a new cricket inside. So the pirate wanted Nikki's cage because Nikki's dad made it for her. And he said that his dad never made anything for him and he didn't even talk to him. Now, Nick, now Maggie get a new cricket from the pirate boy. They all sat down together. Nobody said anything. They listened to the new cricket singing and then crickets all around join in. So now there are four friends, Maggie, Katie, Paco, and the new boy, the pirate. They sat together listening to the cricket singing. The end. Okay, so I have a question. Nikki found a new friend, the pirate boy. Now they're, they're all friends together and they like to sit together and listen to the cricket singing. My question is, what do you, what do you like to do with your friends or your family together? Ask your grown up to write them down on the comment below. Thank you.